congratulations on Ruby Sparks, though. Thank you. It's great. Um, I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. I wanted to talk to you first about uh, your family. You come from a very cinematic family, mm -hmm. and your grandfather was the great Elia Kazan, and both your parents are accomplished screenwriters. I wondered uh, if there was one project in particular that influenced you growing up of theirs? Hmm. Well, I think um, my dad directed a movie when I was little called Dream Lover and, um, you know, had a few movies in production and uh, my mom had, you know, Little Women in production. I remember visiting the set on that. Uh, but, you know, they really tried to keep our lives really separate, like um, not have us be like Hollywood kids. Um, so I, I think the thing that was most influential to me probably was just watching them be so happy in their work. And, you know, there are obviously ups and downs and really trying things. So seeing that, like, all the pain is worth it when you get to do the thing you love and um, how much hard work is involved in like, the creative fields, you know, I think that that, that was probably um, the most most influential to me. Um, you've done a lot of stage work, mm -hmm. um, both writing and acting, and I wonder if you could kind of compare, um, especially acting on a stage, to in front of a camera. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, they feel uh, like completely opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, Mostly because when you're acting in a play, you're doing the same thing every night. And when you're doing a movie, you only get to do the scene once, really. So they require very different kinds of preparation. Um, basically, when you're going to act in a play, you are sculpting your entire performance. So you use rehearsal to figure out sort of what the best take is. And then you, you kind of uh, try to approximate it every night. You know, it's like... Um, it's like those um, Tibetan sand mandalas or something. Like, you know, you're making it every night in order to let it go. And um, when you're working for film, it's all about being prepared to be completely in the moment for a short period of time. And then the editor makes the performance later for you. So you give them the range that you would be comfortable delivering the performance in. You know, if you don't want to, you don't want to give them the option to cut together a performance that you won't like that you want to give them enough options that they can make choices in the editing room tonally. Can you name for me some of your favorite authors, playwrights? Sure. Um, playwrights, I would say, you know, Chekhov, William Inge, um, uh, Ibsen, uh, uh, Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams, Paul Vogel. Um, uh, there's a play by Max Frisch called The Firebugs. I really love that play. Um, novelists, I love Murakami and um, Richard Ford and Brodigan and um, Nabokov. Um, yeah, poets, I love um, James Merrill and um, Edna St. Vincent Millay and, um, you know, Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you're like a real bookworm, huh? I am. Were you always reading growing up? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Dickens and Bronte were my favorites when I was a kid. So did you conceive Ruby Sparks as a play originally? No, definitely not. Always a screenplay? It was always a screenplay. I've heard Ruby Sparks compared to a bunch of movies, Weird Science and Stranger Than Fiction most recently, and um, obviously Pygmalion. Right. And I wondered if... Uh, you're especially enamored with any of those films in particular? No, you know, I have a lot of respect for those movies, but um, I really wasn't thinking about them at all. You know, I was more thinking about movies like um, like Groundhog Day or, um, uh, you know, even like something like Annie Hall or Han and Her Sisters, you know, um, or Tootsie. Yeah. Yeah, Harold and Maud. Those were not movies I thought about while I was writing, but movies that um, we discussed before we shot it. Are those some of your favorite films? Yeah. Yeah. What else? What else do you like? What else, other movies do I like? Yeah. Um, well, I love all of Hal Ashby's movies. I love um, Nick Rogue's films. I love Polanski's movies. Uh, 
Bergman is a big favorite, Godard, um, Melville, uh, yeah, Army of Shadows is like one of my favorite movies, um, Contempt is one of my favorite movies, I don't know, I love Hitchcock. Cool, so the classics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I wanted to ask you what the origin of the name Ruby Sparks is. It just popped into my head. It did, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I thought about it afterwards. I thought, what if I had called her like Ruby Goldberg or something? <laughs> you know, it, was, it was just a lucky. It is lucky. Were there any other contenders? No. No. I mean, her name was her name. You know, like it's one of these things where it just comes to you. I mean, Calvin's name in the film is Calvin Weirfields, which is. A lot stranger, yeah. and I don't know where that came from. Right. Yeah. So my favorite part um, is when Paul Dano is talking to his brother, and he's like, "It's love, it's magic," and I wondered what your favorite part of it was. I like all the physical humor that Paul does when he thinks he's going crazy. He's so funny in that section, and yes. then I really like Clingy Ruby. <laughs> she makes me laugh. Clingy Ruby is sweet. Um, I saw you on Jimmy Kimmel. Yes recently? Yes. And I wondered if you could just talk about the experience of, you know, big time talk shows. Is it was it terrifying. Nerve wracking. Yeah, I was so scared. I mean, you know, I think any time that it's your first time doing something and you don't have a rehearsal, it's a scary thing. Um, you know, and I'm like a blusher and, you know, like I feel like I sort of wear everything on my sleeve. So, but it was also fun. They're really good at their jobs. So, um, it's fun to get to do something um, new. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you.